Ooh. 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 Oh, hello there. I'm just doing my little sit-up routine. But yeah, welcome back to another video. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good because it is good to feel good and I'm currently in San Francisco right now when I'm recording this video but I've got something very exciting to show off. So I don't know if you saw the vlogs or anything like that on the social media then I am going to show you right now something very surprising. It's like a grand reveal this is. I'm going to reveal something very cool. So basically when I was in San Francisco I got a nice little funky tattoo done, and um, yeah, I'm really, I really like how it's how it's turned out, and like how cool it looks right now, and yeah, let's discuss. This, like, I think that this uh, the whole video is just going to be done at this angle with my arm like this, and it's going to be bloody mad. But yeah, let's talk tattoos. So yeah, a new tattoo. This is my sixth tattoo that I've ever gotten done, and I think. It's probably one of my new favourites, I guess. Like, I've always said, you know, this one's probably my favourite, but I really like this one now. And it's just, I just love how cool it looks. So, going about getting this tattoo came about really spontaneously, and I wasn't originally going to be coming to San Francisco as part of my California trip. And it was mainly just going to be spent around in Anaheim and LA, but... Um, a couple of months ago, when a few plans fell through, um, my parents came up with the idea that, you know what, we should go to San Francisco, because why the bloody hell not? And also, my dad was on a business trip in San Francisco at the time, so I was like, ooh, ooh, put two and two together, and we can make a little trip out of it. So, yeah, we ended up in San Francisco, and where I'm still in San Francisco when I'm recording this, but we've had a bloody great time. And also, I... I said to myself that during my time here in California that I really wouldn't mind getting a tattoo done because it's been a while since I had my last tattoo done and I would very much like to get a new one. So yeah, this is how this came about. Oddly enough, I indirectly got recommended to Black and Blue Tattoo um, when I watched a vlog from a few years ago. So um, Ben Brown and Steve Booker actually were in San Francisco a couple of years ago and they actually went to Black and Blue Tattoo and only watching that back a few weeks ago, I was like, oh, that's black and blue. That's the same studio I'm going to. So, so indirectly, I actually got recommended by them to come to black and blue, and I'm glad that I did. So, the artist who did my tattoo, um, her name was Jess Koala, and if you ever love, you know, the weird and wonderful aspects of getting a tattoo done, then always go to her. She does, you know, some weird and wonderful tattoos. Like, for example, this one, is, I consider it to be weird and wonderful, and yeah, um, if you ever, you know, want to get a weird and wonderful tattoo done, then always go to Jess because she's got some cool little things about her. Um, her links will be in the description as are the links to Black and Blue Tattoo. And um, yeah, my personal recommendation would be Jess. And now we come to that part of the video where I answer a few questions about, you know, my tattoo experience and, you know, a few things here and there. So yeah, let's do this part. So first of all, what is it and what does it represent? Um, so of course it is a camera, it's a DSLR camera and I got it done because I love cameras. Now for many years now I've been using like a lot of cameras here and there and I would personally say it's my favorite tool or my favorite toy and you know I love you know recording videos I love taking pictures and the camera is you know it's just it's just that it's just that it's you know it's such an amazing thing to use and you know anyone has it at their disposal even on your phones you have it at your disposal and that's why I like cameras and especially this little DSLR. I remember having a DSLR a few years ago and it was quite a cool camera to use and to represent that I got it done as a tattoo. So how long did it take to get done? It actually took just an hour to get done so um, so we said to ourselves, well she said that um, it would just take around an hour to do and um, yeah in just like one swift hour we were able to get it done so of course the outline was there to begin with and then the shading was done and I really love like just how it looks especially you know all the little details and that like the little lens clap lens clap lens cap opening and closing and then you know the um, the light 
to um, you know, the flashlight. And then the grip as well. I th they're just like just a few of my favourite things. Did it hurt? I think at this point in time, to say getting a tattoo hurts is more of an understatement because I've gotten so many tattoos done. Like I've, I mean, this, I've now got six tattoos done, and every time like I go in, you know, just to get it done, it's just each experience is like oh, I'm used to this needle by now. Like I remember when I got got my first tattoo done, I was bloody terrified. I thought, you know what, they're gonna kill me with this with this needle. But honestly, once the needle goes in, it's just it's just it's smooth, and you know you'll you'll get used to it very quickly. So obviously. You know, starting off the outline probably is the tricky bit because it is the part that, you know, is a bit more full on. And then once it comes to the shading, it's a lot more easier. So, yeah, I guess, you know, I'm just used to the pain of tattoos by now. And the final question is, will I get more tattoos done? And the obvious answer is yes. I mean, I, I, to, to use a metaphor here, my body is a blank canvas. A lot of parts of my body are blank canvas. And I don't see any signs of stopping me getting a tattoo done. I remember a couple of years ago, um, one of my tutors at college was like, you know, if you're gonna go into the business, like into the performing arts business, and you know, you're gonna get, you're gonna be hindered because of your tattoos. And I was like, shut up. But no, I honestly love getting tattoos done. And I don't want anyone to, you know, think negative of me when I do get them done because, you know, tattoos, I was about to say tattoos on my life, but that sounds a bit cringy to say, but yeah, tattoos are such a joy, they are, you know, they're, it's a, it's a very enjoyable um, experience getting a tattoo done, and, you know, it's just, it's just that, that much fun, so yeah, I love getting tattoos done, and I don't know what my next tattoo will be, so we'll, we'll, we'll find out in the future what that next tattoo will be. And yeah, that is my new tattoo video. This is my sixth tattoo, as I say, and I really, again, love how it turned out. So, um, I think I might have, I think I might have said it earlier in the video, but once again, um, go and check out, you know, Jess Koala and check out some of her weird and wonderful work. And also, while you're at it, check out Black and Blue Tattoo if you're ever in the San Francisco Bay Area, because they've got a lovely bunch of artists, you know, the, there's very positive vibes when you go in there and it's just, it's amazing. My experience there was amazing and I'd totally recommend it there. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Um, I hope to see you in the future with some more tattoos and like, comment, subscribe and share the love. See ya.